Are you coming? Yep. It's supposed to be in a tree. Hanging in a tree. Hanging in a tree. Hanging in a tree. Just hanging in a tree. I'm seeing lots of trees. But I'm not seeing a cache. Oh, I'm looking all around. But I'm not seeing it's a great day for caching. Just gotta find them. Stand on the rock, look in the tree, okay? All right, oh, there's a rock. A rock. Oh, here it is. Oh, cool. <laughs> get that cash and this is what we call a pull me down or a PMD. Got the right tree? Yep. Oh, hey man, hold on, yeah, hold on, I'll get it. Oh. oh, there it is. Okay, we're signed in and you just let her go. Woohoo! What Look a cute that. cash. That's cute. <laughs> This one required a bit of climbing up the cliffs. Well, not that far, it's only like six, seven feet, but uh, it's right here on the side. Just a little bit more than a park and grab. Ooh, there's money in there. All signed in. Now I just gotta get down without falling down. Sliding down or breaking anything. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. Inevitably, there's going to be a guardrail cache along the road of any search like this. Oh yeah. And? But this one had a bit of poison ivy with it. A so wee bit, right careful. near the cache. Yeah. Look what I found. What a great idea for a cache. not all on the side of the road but some of them are a little further and 
sometimes there's a little bit more foliage than others. But this one's not hard to find because it's called triplets. And the hint is sons of birches. And there it is right there. Pretty cool. This one's a pretty good size cache and it's got some uh, cool stuff in it. A fish, squirt gun, a quarter, bouncy ball, mastodon, or a woolly mammoth. Which is it? Mastodon or woolly mammoth? And a stegosaurus. And a sandal. Last cache of the run, that was number 36. What a great series. I really enjoyed this cache series because of its variety. It had uh, different containers uh, throughout. There wasn't one container through the all 36 caches. And the titles and the hints meant something. So when you were looking for a cache, you kind of knew um, after four or five, you kind of had an understanding of what uh, was involved with finding that cache. The series kept my interest because it wasn't too, too long. So it was just a nice afternoon of getting out and seeing some beautiful countryside down some, some not too busy roads. It took us a few hours to get through this series. Uh, we really, really enjoyed it. getting one totally awesome cache to a series of caches on a run. Um, the one totally awesome cache is great, but you spent your whole day going for that one and that's kind of a, a feature and, and that was your whole goal for the day where when you're doing a series, you kind of get, you know, if there's 36 in the series, you get kind of 36 little thrills. So. We're really excited, we have a new patron. Yeah, TTFN Cashin has been a longtime supporter of Cash Canada and has finally decided to join up as a patron. If you wanna be a patron, all you gotta do is go to patreon.com slash Cash Canada. Yeah, come on board. So, Whiteman, you did a great job and come out and get these caches. He did a really good job.